Hello, Akron fans! This is Shadow Fury 33 with another Akron replay match. Today we're going to be watching a game between God and Nail. God is in the top right corner playing CISO, and Nail is in the bottom left corner playing Vekir. So, Nail is still just doing his perfect start. He has chosen his race, he's just pausing, putting down his resource processors as queued orders for his Zion Beer. And God is doing the same for his Marines. So, both players are going for a standard economic start, getting six LCRPs. This is pretty normal. Be interesting to see how many RPs they get after that. Looks like God is immediately sending a Marine to the top right corner of the map, and another one down to his natural expansion. So he's very focused on grabbing as many boxes as he can as quickly as possible. While Nail is getting his Shinbeer and Tethbeer going straight to God's base to scout him out, while also getting his Zynebeer keeping it in the main base. He's going to continue to build RPs in the main base. And there's another RP down. While God is building RP, or no, he's actually moving his Marine to the north as well. So he is building RPs on his natural expansion and moving his second Marine over to the north. It looks like he's not actually building anything from here, though. Trying to build another... No, he's trying to build more RPs. Trying to make sure he gets the RPs. All this is just getting the RPs right when he can, the exact second he can. Getting an importer as well. And now getting a factory. So he's working on basic production and doing that in his natural expansion as opposed to his main. Which isn't a bad idea, given that the natural expansion has a bit more freedom in how you can produce, because the main is just this one plateau, while the natural expansion extends onto the center of the map. And here comes the Shinbeer and Tethbeer at the 224 mark, attacking the armory. They do not see any Marines or Special Ops, because there are no Marines or Special Ops as part of the base. While the Special Op for God, which is going scouting, has found the Zynebeer and has killed it, so Nail's going to have to deal with that. Probably will just move the Zynebeer back. Look at the Zynebeer was planning on going to the expansion, and did not end up doing so. Building the RPs up, and this is back, sorry, is that the 21 second mark when he was originally building some RPs up? Back to the 227 mark, looks like Nail is, now he's continuing to send his Zyvira out, he hasn't moved it back yet. He is not changing this up at all, which is rather bizarre. So the, that Zyvira is dead, but it's still in the future, so there's still a way out of it. God, on the other hand, has jumped back to the 35 second mark. His Marine, oh, his Marine's natural expansion is moving back towards his main base, building some key RPs here. Or trying to, anyway. He doesn't have the RP. He doesn't have the LC for it yet, but he is building a key PRP before. And building an import as well, so he's building more in his main base this time around. Interesting. I'm not sure exactly why. I do think that the natural expansion is a good idea. Let's just see if Nail. No, Nail was sending his forces to the main base. The natural expansion was untouched. I'm a bit surprised God is actually doing this. It's a really strange thing to do. Because, like I said, he had a really good position in his natural expansion. And Nail had not tried to stop it, but perhaps he wants to get a factory closer to the main base so he can stop the Shinbeer and Tethbeer. But really, they aren't that scary. One one Shinbeer, one Tethbeer isn't that much to worry about. Like a single, lan a couple Lancers or a tank or some of that will be able to take care of it no problem. So God appears to be, yeah, he's changing up a lot of this this whole setup. He's not really expanding the natural as much. He is. Focusing more on the main, and of course, Nail has undone the Shinbeer and Tethry scouting, which isn't totally surprising, or at least he's undone attacking the main base the way he was before. He's going, going actually in further, attacking some of the RPs, including that RP that was built in before. So, like I said, I'm a bit curious why God is doing this, because this RP was only attacked because it was there. It wasn't there in the first iteration, Nail did not go for it. And Nail also right next to the unplayable past, not really changing up much of a strategy for those Shinbeer and Tethbeer, and it looks like God at the 318 mark. Special Ops is still there. It is getting attacked by Auto Defense. Auto Defense has been researched for Nail. He is trying to get rid of the Special Ops. Special Ops is just sitting there healing itself, not really doing much, but also not getting killed. Running away now, while Shinbeer is being destroyed by an ATHC and a mech, the Tethbeer having already been killed. So that is... Well, God, I really think, did overreact to that. It, he really should have just kept his production structures in his natural as much your spot to put them and now we have here we are the south base so the south base has been taken over somewhat by nail he has a couple rps there and nail back to the 307 mark is getting a zion pulsar as well and this is when he researched auto defense so he's getting a zion pulsar getting another foundation as well to help out in defending against the special ops to back to the 144 mark he is i'm not sure what he's changing right now he does have this is when he started building the rps or would have started building the rps pretty soon Getting RPs in his main base for QP, it's... Looks like he's reviewing... He is 
Ah, he is moving his Zyanvir and sorry, Tethvir and Shinvir back to kill off that special ops before they actually before it actually does anything. So now that special ops is dead. So this Zyanvir can go expand in the natural in peace, doesn't have to worry about getting killed, and God no longer has stopped that natural expansion. But right next to the Implable Pass, so God can't really do much about it. He is over sending an ATHC over to the natural expansion to try to stop it. The RPs have already been built at this point, but the ATHC will at least be able to damage the Zion Pulsar and if it Sorry, Zion Veer and if it cloaks. No, it's gonna hit the Shinveer and Tethir, which have been held back. Nail is not let's double check from his point of view. No, Nail is in fact not pushing his Shinveer and Tethir forward. They are staying at his natural expansion to defend. Good idea, because then the ATHC, even if it's cloaked, the Shinveer can spot cloaked unit, so we'll be able to stop it. However, it is also at the front, which means it will be... Ah, here we are. So the Tethvir did take a bit more damage. So the Shinveer will probably not be able to take out the ATHC, but Nail is well aware of an ATHC coming. He does have an aerial control center coming as well. He will probably be trying to build Shin Turchers, because they are detectors and very popular. They are bombers detectors, since air units are quite popular, and because they are detectors and cloak units are fairly popular, Shin Turchers are a very common choice for early attacking. And it looks like Nail has ultimately decided to send his... He is sending a Shinvir and Tethir forward, ultimately. Or, yeah, he is sending, sending them forward. He is not going to hold them back to defend with the ATHC, but God has already moved his ATHC back, so both players... Neither player is actually in a threatened position right now, but... God decided... Or no, God has not, in fact, held back. He is actually... Bizarre. We did see his ATHC moving back, so... Oh, I see, there's two ATHCs. Three, actually, no, four, eight, four ATCs now. One of them in the natural expansion, two of them they are coming towards the natural... Or, wait, that's probably an error. But, there are RPs coming in at the southeast base as well, so God definitely trying to do the CISO expan mass expansion. And two more ATCs coming in to destroy the infantry that are attacking, and they will be successful. Macropap has been built, getting frigates, so God is starting to get frigates, and for those of you who haven't been following the Akron metagame very much, frigates have become CISO's go-to unit recently, because... For a while, Greckham had Sepi Legos, and they were really powerful. They are still really powerful. But frigates were built up to counter them, and now CISO just tends to build a lot of frigates to take air dominance, because air is quite important in this game. And I'm not sure if Nail realizes that he should be going for... Or what he's planning on going for, really. It's... He is getting Shin Turchers, as I predicted. He will be using them... Not especially well, because those frigates will be quite damaging. A Foundation Rush, however, is... Happening in the main base, this is useful for detection. Foundations can detect cloak units, so they are able to take out the HHCs. The HHCs are going down. The Foundations are able to heal each other and attack while also the infantry are attacking, damaging the RPs. And at the same time, the natural expansion is being def it's being defended. The Shin Turcher has come in and destroyed everything there. And another a Zion Pulsar is coming in as well in the main base. And the Foundations in the expansion have both been destroyed by the Frigate and the HHC, but quite a bit of damage has been dealt already. Now, it doesn't look like God is going for Mass Frigate. He is, in fact, making some Mars. Yeah, I wasn't sure if he was going to go Mass Frigate or not. It's more popular against Grekin than against Vekir, but... it be interesting to see. There is, like I said, Mar Tanks coming in as well. And this is a bit harder to deal with, though with Shin Turchers, it's actually not a bad thing. The Shin Turchers and Zion Pulse will be able to deal with Mar Tanks, no problem. Especially if they have Skip Teleport at all, which I don't think they do. No, they don't right now. And God is about 15 seconds ahead of Nail. He is planning on sending his frigate forward, but he is going back to sync up with Nail. Nail is actually building a bastion in his expansion as well with found other foundations to help out. But God has to worry about this. He has no mar his Martank isn't actually nearby here. And the foundations are doing a pretty good job defending. The bastion is also doing a good job defending. Taking out that frigate. That frigate is almost dead. The frigate is now dead. Martank is coming in for God. It will be damaging one of the foundations. Another foundation turning into a bastion. And last foundation getting hit, so the Martang is focusing way too much on foundations, not enough on Bastions. And the Bastion is... Actually, looks like it's focusing a bit too much... I mean, the ATC is taking some damage, but not a huge amount of damage, from the, mostly from the foundation. While the Bastion is going to be able to kill off the ATC, the ATC is now dead, but it doesn't matter. This is mostly a distraction for God. God has to worry about this, but Nail can just continue to build up. Nail is getting Gate Tech, by the way. So we will get Slip Gates. He's getting Bastion's main base, so let's get a Slip Gate and... At the very least, he'll be able to do skip teleports around the map, but he'll probably be able to get a slipgate. Might be chronoporting a bit. Probably will be teleporting around a lot. And here's a slipgate. So that bastion is ultimately going to be a slipgate, not actually a bastion, but... I guess just in case, if God were to scout it out before going down, going to this point in the timeline, he would think it is a bastion, not a slipgate. 
So Slipgate is being built. Gate tech has been done. Teth Veer, sorry, Teth Tercher and Shin Tercher are up. And Nail, I'm a bit surprised he isn't building anymore. He has plenty of CE to build with, and although admittedly he probably will want to make air units, and air units are QP heavy, he also might want to chronoport. And he is, he is definitely chronoporting, not might want to. He is chronoporting right now, probably down to around here, which was, well, during that first expansion battle. And yes, Nail has chronoport back. This is when the Foundation Rush first started, and the Shin Tercher and Teth Tercher are now, are here, are attacking. They are helping to defend, destroying the frigate, destroying the... And you see, the most important thing will be destroying that... That Mar tank is the most important thing to destroy. If that's destroyed, the Mar tank that was coming in from here, if that is destroyed, we'll find out in the next time wave. And God is actually jumping back here. He's double-checking this attack as well. He sees that the Chrono Port units are in, damaging the Zarkis quite heavily in the expansion. Also, there was a Zion Veer down here for a while, attacking the Southeast expansion. The Northeast expansion is completely untouched, and the Marines go into the North expansion at this point in time. Go jumping back to the playable past. As far as he, at this point in time, he does have his Mar tanks and frigates up, damaging, dealing quite a damage to Nail's forces as they go around the map, but not at this point dealing any damage that can't be recovered from. So Nail still has a huge amount of LC though. I'm a bit surprised. He, I wouldn't think it would be a bad idea to build some infantry right now, but not really worth worrying about. He does have a really good position in the unplayable past, and of course this continued into the playable past, the Shin Tercher. Being able to destroy the Mar Tank, so the Mar Tank has been deflected, but the Frigate's coming in, and looks like the Teth Tercher must have died at some point during the Unplayable Past, because it... Well, there, I don't see it around here anywhere, and Nail is... See, from his point of view, he does still have a Shin Tercher, but the Shin Tercher has died, and... So here's the Teth Tercher, it looks like it does end up getting destroyed, or might even be destroyed, actually, it shouldn't be getting destroyed, because the Foundations are still in place. The Mar Tank is focusing on it, not the Foundations. So no, it's quite peacefully being able to get rid of everything. While, let's see, a Zion Pulsar is coming back as well. This is, this is really going in Nail's favor. Shin Church that was chronoported back before is being able to clean up the south, the southeast expansion. Shin Church here has been destroyed, but the Teth Church, having time of coming in from that new Teth Church, and the foundations attacking it, able to destroy this found this forget no problem. And more chronoporting going on with the Teth Tercher and possibly a Shin a Zion Pulsar. The let's see what's being chronoported back. It looks like both no, it looks like just the Zion Pulsar being chronoported back and now teleported into the North expansion to stop it from being started up entirely. The North expansion is going to be completely destroyed. The Marines going to be destroying the Inflatable Pass. The RP is going down. So God has lost one of his Marines for expansion, although he can easily rebuild another. And let's see, three minutes up from here, God is focusing on. Attacking this, trying to actually defend this, really. Getting rid of these foundations, getting rid of these units that are here. Not doing that great of a job of it. He doesn't actually have a lot of units being produced right now. He's getting some frigates, but he's not macroing up as much as he should be. For the amount of resources he has. He could also be building a few more macro fabs right now. Though, given all the resources he has, and he is building a couple, another macro fab right now, good. Given the resources he has, he could stand to benefit from gate tech. Though, of course, he would be on the back foot, but at least he'd be able to respond on equal terms. Now, from his point of view, he does in the North Expansion, but as we can see, the Red Time Wave, and of course, from Nail's point of view, that North Expansion is... Well, the Red Time Wave is where it's doomed. So, once the Red Time Wave comes over, Nail's position, which is... Oh, you know what? No! It looks like... Ah, it must be on the Blue Time Wave, because there is... Because we're on the re we're behind the Red Time Wave now, and the North Expansion still exists, so it looks like... The Zion Pulsar must have been even further back, or possibly was deflected, but I kind of doubt it, because there's no way God can dynamically respond to stuff in the Unplayable Past. So it looks like still Nail is in a great position. He's able to get rid of one of the importers, and I think that was that was God's only importer. God has no reserves left. He's he has nothing left in terms of reserves right now. That was his only importer. So losing that's going to be a major blow to him. And like I said, this blue time wave is also where a lot of damage has been dealt. I'm sure. Right? We'll find out once it comes over because I'm I know we saw that Zion Pulsar come back here unless unless Nail decided to undo it, which. He might have, but the current report, last current report arrival set and departures has gone into the unplayable past, so I'm pretty sure that this Zion Pulsar simply hasn't shown up yet on the time waves. And now a full base is inside, at the 1159 mark, a full base is inside God's Natural for Nail. Frigates are being built to try to deal with everything coming in, but like I said, there are no importers, there's no way to really build new units for God. I'm a bit surprised he didn't build multiple importers. I that's just bizarre. And now God is getting gate tech, though I still think it's a, it's a little bit late at this point, but he is getting it. The 
Well, from this point of view, the Teth Pulsar... Yeah, the Teth Turcher and Shin Pulsar... Sorry. Teth Turcher, Shin Turcher. No one builds Shin Pulsars except me. The... <laughs> they are being a layer destroyed, but the infantry are still doing what damage they can. And incidentally, Shin Pulsars are great scout planes, but on slightly larger maps. On this side... This size of map, it's a bit too small, but on the larger maps like Cordova or Abrams or Twilight, they're quite useful. Anyway, so we see, yeah, the Blue Time map has come along, and Nail has destroyed this expansion, and he's also getting his RPs onto this expansion. So, God is in a really bad spot. He is completely surrounded right now, and he is getting gay tech, which might give him a way out, but he doesn't have any importers, which is very bizarre. And, let's see, gay tech has been produced. He does have a mech. Did the mechs come in to help out, but nothing's going to really work. God is trying to figure out what happened in the earlier battles, probably figure out where he can place his units in unplayable past Chronoport in an uppercut. I don't really know. To be honest, I don't see any place he could actually do that. His best bet, well, his only real bet is mechs, because he doesn't have any marines. He needs to get a mech to build an importer and use the reserves there to build more units to actually attack with him. Now, four Ted Turchers are coming in at the 1339 mark. Nail has built up a bunch of Ted Turchers. He is building more Ted Turchers, just entirely flooding it with Ted Turchers. Oh, yeah, I have a dozen so far, but he's he's focused entirely on Ted Turcher production, not on Shin Turcher production. So God, God has surrendered. The amount of Ted Turchers he has, there's no way of dominating that from the air, and the factory has been destroyed. There's no way. God is stuck. There's nothing God can do right now, so... Nail has won with a really interestingly done Chrono Rush. Well, not a Chrono Rush, but an uppercut set, which was quite impressive. So yeah, that was... That was neat. But yeah, I think God really, if he had built up more importers early on, just had a bit more redundancy in his original construction set, and maybe a few more macrofabs or factories, he would have been in a good spot. And having... Had he built up the natural, he would have been in a much better spot to defend, because his factories would have been right there. I'm not sure why he shifted to the main base. There was really no valid reason I could see to do that. I mean, yeah, he was getting attacked in the main base, but that wasn't a major attack. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that, and have a good night, everyone.